Okay, so um, as far as uh, we've talked about the bow, the rosin, um, the tuning of the Joza, and as you know, there are some different choices for um, that lowest string. And I'm sure that you'd like to start also using um, some fingers on the string so that you can change the pitch. Um, since you said that you play the oud, I'm sure then you're accustomed to um, a fretless instrument, which is like the violin or the joza. Um, that means that you have to listen and figure out where exactly this is going to go. Now, I know that many people struggle with fretless instruments, and should you desire, you could actually put a little marker for your first finger. Um, so, for instance, if you want, you can use a small piece of tape. You could take a pencil and just draw a little line there. Just to get started, you can later get rid of it, but once you get the, the muscle memory, it becomes easier. So, the whole step from this open string to the first finger... <laughs> The same is true on each of the next strings. The next uh, finger, obviously, second finger, if you make it um, like a, the beginning of a Nahuan scale, then you're just going to have it right next to first finger. So. And in fact, if you want to do the entire Nahuan scale, starting on this low string, we have zero. That's O. Um, then first finger, low two, then we rotate to the next string, same thing, one, and two, then next string, open, and then one. Let me start from the beginning now. So it's going to be open, one, and then a low two, meaning right next to first finger. So like this. Again, that's the, from the open string down here, it was zero, one, two. Then zero, one, two on the next. Then zero, one. And then same thing in reverse. You can start this, do another um, Nahawan scale starting on Re instead of on La. And you can do the exact same finger patterns, but just one string over like this. So then that has you playing on all four strings. You have the Nahawand on 
la and then Nahu and then re Once you get used to that, then you can start creating some variations just to get your fingers in different patterns like I don't know, I just made that up, but you can get creative and just find different m melodies in uh, Nahawand. But um, one other thing just to be aware of is when you're playing your bow across the strings is to cr try to keep it straight and right about where the neck meets the body of the coconut. Um, so good luck and I look forward to getting a video back from you. Um, so. See you for now. Ma salama.